Hello everybody and welcome to my new Sims 4 speed video. This is a two part video as the house ends up being huge. This is like I think possibly the biggest and most expensive house I have ever built in the Sims 4 and this for the whole let's play idea I have will be the house to aim for as it's on like I think it's the biggest lot in Newcrest. <laughs> now I thought it would be the best house to do something, the best lot even, to do something really extravagant and a bit different on. So it ends up being a huge house. I think it has six bedrooms and six bathrooms. Because why, why would you not have six bathrooms? And it has a swimming pool, nice garden, some balconies which I didn't actually furnish in the end but it's mainly because I used so much furniture in this house I didn't know what to put outside but yeah I really like how this house ends up looking in the end you'll see from some of the screenshots how the outside looks when it's finished but you won't see that in this video but you'll get the outside screenshots so I thought for this one we'll have the screenshots of the rooms we did in this video and the outside because the outside is important and it gives you an idea of what the finished product is going to look like which I thought was clever to keep you interested so you watch the next video to see how it goes yeah I wasn't too sure about what paint to do on the outside. In the end we go for this, which I think looks nice. It looks better when all like the windows and doors are in. Right now it all looks really plain and a bit mm. But yeah, when it has all its windows and doors, I am very happy with how the outside of this house looks. You might say I went a bit mad with windows, but I don't think I did. I think it looks really nice. So yeah, here we are doing like other little bay window type things. And I, you see, I almost went too mad with windows, but I stopped myself. <laughs> I, I'm quite proud by using slightly bigger ones. I didn't go quite so mad. Yeah, as you can see, like with the windows, it's really looking a bit more like a house, not just something. In randomly placed. I do think the windows are what makes this house look so cool and a bit different. Yeah, we've nearly finished placing all of the windows, which was quite a task with a house this size really. Yeah, a little door so you can go outside. Yay! That's all the windows and stuff done. As you can see, you can see what it's going to look great from the outside when it's all finished. Here we are putting in lots of rooms. I was like, oh, when I built it, I was like, oh dear, that's a lot of rooms. What am I going to do with all of these rooms? So some of the rooms end up being a little empty, but I think they all have a good use. Like we have a study room, a music room, a game room. I think two, no, three living roomy type places, two more adult ones and a nice kids one. You know, with six bedrooms you're bound to have some kids in this house. And there is at least one kids room and there's a nursery as well. So yeah, with this house you can really grow your family. Which I thought was important. Yeah, so there we go, there's the floor plan and now we're going to put in lots of floor. We have quite a nice modern-ish interior in this house again. Lots of white, lots of wood. Yeah, because I think it really, it's like one of the nicest ways to decorate a house without becoming too like dark and oppressive. I know these rooms are big so they could probably cope with some dark colours but I don't like using the dark colours because I think they look a bit tacky at times. Even with some of the, so even just using some of those feature walls looks a little tacky sometimes. But hey, no, adding in lots of lights. 
So this time we just go for the straight up beamers. Because they add a nice light, I think, to the house. You know? One of those things I really like. I like how bright they are, so a lot of the lights in Sims 4 are not bright enough. I don't care how they pass it off, they are not bright enough. Yeah. I hope people agree with me on that. Yeah. Now here we are putting lots of different colours in to it. So I can theme the rooms around a colour. I think it really helps when you're putting in your objects if you have a colour to go with. Because then you know what objects you can put in, what you can't, because not everything comes in all of the colours. Yeah. So there we go, doing the basic little bits in the garden. The finishing touches will be coming in the next video. Yeah. But you can't wait for that. Plant lots of plants. And furnishing a lot of the rooms. But you do get a bit of furnishing in this video. We end up doing, I think, about half of the downstairs rooms before I caught, called it a day with the filming. Because there's only so much time I can sit and play The Sims 4 when I'm tired. Yeah. Because it was quite late when I was filming this, I think. Maybe about, let's say, about 8 o'clock one evening after playing. A different game for a bit. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna say. Not gonna tell you what I was playing because it's a little bit of a a guilty pleasure game. Yeah, and I came a bit late to it. Well, very late to the game. But oh well, back to back to Sims. Yeah. So we've done the kitchen, now we're doing the dining room which has a nice little bar in it. It ends up being two bars in this house so you could throw some pretty wild parties if you wanted to. Not that my sims ever do. But yeah, I really like how this house ends up looking. I mean yeah, some of the rooms could end up with a bit more furniture. But hey, I think it looks nice. It's a clean, modern home. Not too cluttered, and I would have added more curtains, but I just, my lighting seems to be adding. Seems to be not very good. I think I need to repair my game, see if that fixes it. it must be that last update's mess. Well, not even the last one, was it? There's a few updates ago when they added in the whole lighting thing. Yeah, I do fix that rug thing, don't worry. <clears throat> so, yeah, as you can see. I think this is pretty much, oh no we do a bathroom before I give up and I think I decorate a little bit of the hallway. Yeah, there could have been more decorating in this house but I don't think I have enough items to do it and I end up repeating a lot of stuff because of this. I really need to get some of the stuff packed. Now here we are into the screenshots for this part of the video. As you can see we have a nice little like pantry area so you can do dishwasher. We have two dishwashers in this house in case they get busy because Sims put them on straight away after putting dishes in so if like two people were cleaning up dishes there's actually two dishwashers they can put them in. I know that seems a bit weird but that's how Sims act sometimes. Yeah so there's lots of like places that they can read, study and skill in this house in the end. Yeah so thank you very much for watching. Bye bye!